Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Hope you're still enjoying your Friday. Um, I am recording this before the Chelsea game. Um, obviously, I know Chelsea kick off in, I believe it's about 40 minutes. So you kind of get an idea as to when I'm recording this. Uh, this was the video that in the previous two videos that I talked about, right at the end of them, I said, oh, I've got, a, I've got a, <laughs> a funny story coming up a little bit later on. This would be it. And you can tell from the thumbnail what it is. It is a Tosin Adara Bio Eric Dyer swap deal. That's not the funny part. That the, fu the funny part is coming. Um, also have an update around Jed Spence potentially leaving to Leeds as well. I'll give you an update towards the whole the whole gist of that situation, okay? But, but yeah, if you haven't haven't noticed already, I have uploaded two videos today. There is a match preview uh, the for the head of the Bournemouth game tomorrow. Kind of giving some team moves around both teams, what I think, blah, blah, blah. You kind of know how the previews work. I also did another video earlier today talking about Ivan Tony's situation, uh, an update around a potential Pepe bid, all these things. Go check them out. Let me know what you think of the videos. I always want to have a discussion. But we're talking now around this swap deal. So I talked about uh, a situation the other day about how... Fulham had made an inquiry to Spurs around Eric Dyer, right? Because obviously the situation with Tosin and Dyer Bio, Monica had made bids, but also made that. I also said in, in a, the other video as well that the deal for Tosin and Dyer Bio to Monica has completely stalled because Fulham don't want to sell him there. They want to sell him Spurs, which is always normally quite weird. You don't normally sell within a division, but hey, we don't make these decisions. So. This came out earlier from Sky Sports, and it was... I'm just going to read you both of this, because another one after is I want to read you with as well. Uh, Fulham have made an inquiry into signing Eric Dyer from Tottenham, and he's believed to be an option for them ahead of the deadline. Spurs are keen on a Dyer bio, and a deal involving an exchange between the two players, as well as some money to Spurs, has been explored. That was the funny thing. We've all looked at it going, look, do we have to send some money there to, to Fulham to get a Dara Bio? Actually, they're talking about sending money to us with a Dara Bio for Eric Dyer. Oh, honestly, mind-boggling stuff. And then Football Insider followed up with that Spurs have opened talks with Fulham signed a toast into a Dara Bio in a swap deal involving Eric Dyer and an additional fee. <sighs> No, I think, look, we, we've on this channel spoke about how, look, we want players to be here that want to be here. Does Tosin want to be here or does he want to be in Monaco? Does he prefer to be in Monaco but not against playing at Spurs? How does that all look, right? But let's talk about this on face value. We are removing a player that doesn't suit the system. Spurs fans don't really want. We are bringing in a player that does suit the system. He bringing in a player who gives us a different, no, kind of like a right-footed Mickey van der Ven away, a very athletic defender, um, plays out from the back well, homegrown, all these things. But also you get money as well. He can probably save you money on the wages front. Younger. It, it's a no-brainer for us. And in theory, it works out to be like a no-brainer for Fulham because Fulham are going to get a England international centre-half who I've said as a mid-table team is very good for a mid-table team. You'll also find that they're getting rid of a player that they weren't going to get money for in a year's time. It's worth it for them in their eyes. So again, I don't hate that idea. And the fact that you know not just one source, but two sources have come out and mentioned that is something that you really have to start paying attention to. The fact that it does look like Tosin Odara Bayer is going to be the centre-half option. It just looks interesting to see if Dyer goes back the other way. And look, 2024 comes around. You've got a big old tournament in 2024 for England, haven't you? If you're not playing, do you deserve to be in the squad? That's my thing with Harry Maguire. It's my thing with, with any player. If you're not playing, how do you deserve to be in a squad? Simple as that. It should be based on form. It should be based on status. OK, so, yeah, there's that one. Moving on a little bit to the Jed Spence situation. So this came from Paul O'Keefe. Again, by the way, really, really solid. Go have a follow on in Twitter because he, his replies are very interesting. Um, this comes from him and it says that Leeds have inquired for Jed Spence. Leeds are willing to consider all options on a potential transfer. Spence himself considering options, including abroad. Um Let's talk about Leeds on that front first instead of talking about abroad. 
Lee's obviously having Joe Roden at the moment. Obviously, it's very interesting for Spurs fans to kind of see, look, how does Joe do? Does Joe regain market value? What happens with Joe when he's there? There's a lot of games of football to play in the championship. <laughs> Excuse me, little sneeze there. With Jed Spence, it's the same sort of thing. You know, we've seen him in the championship be the best right back in the championship. And that was only a season previous, not the one that's just been, the one before that. With the situation there, he's going to have a lot of attention on them because Leeds are a big club with a lot of attention, a lot of eyes on them. You know, he's going to know the centre half there and Joe Roden. Um, I don't hate that move, actually, to be honest. Now, will he be sold or will he be loaned? I, I've I've thought about this a little bit, and I don't hate either one. If you sell him, do you get a decent enough value that you make back at least the majority of what you spent on him? Do you get 10, 12 million? Do you get 15 even? Or do you loan him with an obligation to buy? You know, get a couple of million for the loan, cover his wages, bosh, lovely jubbly. You then maybe sell him in a year for 12 million. Okay, well, you kind of make your money back. There you go. Again, not a bad idea. Is there an option to buy where you say, look, here's a loan deal. You, you give us some money. You cover the wages. The option is 16 million, right? So he's got to live up to that. If he does, you make a bit more money, right? Or is there a loan deal with no option or obligation because you're saying, look, we see there's a player there. We just need him to get a bit more game time before we really kick on with him. I don't know. I think they would probably go loan with an option or a sale. I even don't think there's an obligation. I just think it's loan as an option because it's going to be one of the two. The option being, you know, look, he might get good. We might get this, that, the other out of him. Or a sale where you go, just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. Just get him gone. Because there's no, with them, they probably don't want to do a loan with an obligation. They just want the money now sort of thing, right? Obviously, it allows them to start to spend towards the other areas of the squad that we really need to work on. I'm on the side of that one, but I know you guys will tell me your thoughts. And I'm interested to see what you think of that Toast and Adara by Eric Dyer swap deal. That's a really interesting deal that I think it surprised me. It made me chuckle, the fact that we would get Toast in, a centre-half that we want, and money for removing a player that we don't want and not going to use. Works for me. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Hit me in the comment section below about the Tosin Eric Dyer deal. What's your thoughts on the deal? Not only that, let me know about the, the Jed Spence situation. Do you want him sold? Do you want it just to be a loan, obligation, option? What is it that you want out of that deal? Do you see him still having a future at Spurs? I want to know. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the bell notification for more. And also, like I said, go check out the other videos from earlier today. Some interesting stuff that I talked about in those other videos. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, lads.